Today we'd like to talk about uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP e-commerce uh, integration and custom programming. Uh, as you see, this is uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP current version uh, 10, as we are uh, speaking in uh, November 2009. Um, let me first show you the target. Typically, your e-commerce shopping cart you um, transform into um, Microsoft Dynamics GP invoice or in sometimes sales order if you need a, a certain level of control uh, for the order execution um, so what do you have to what you have to do you have to create uh, or update the customer information as you see customer is Aaron fit um, then you have to create the document header which is uh, typically on on the on the top of the document and in the bottom of the document which will be like a summaries then you should uh, actually add line lines by lines from your shopping cart and lines they have uh, actually unit of measure quantity uh, unit price extended price uh, and description and plus you have information about warehouse price list uh, discounts um, and delivery me methods etc um, etc et <coughs> let's take a look at the options you have uh, from um, your e-commerce web application uh, the simplest way would be to uh, export or uh, create a new DVC connection in, in integration manager to your e-commerce um, uh, SQL database, whatever it, it could be. It could be Oracle, it, it could be um, Microsoft Access or MySQL, uh, where you can create connections through ODBC. Then uh, in integration manager, you, you can set up destination to be as sales uh, sales transaction, as you see in, in the case of this integration. And then you have to set up, uh, in, uh, you have to map the uh, integration uh, document header, which would be on this level. Um, and, and then, uh, as you see, you can use like a source fields. Uh, and then you, you have to in, in, in initialize items and other objects if required. You see, you can go as, 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 as deep as uh, assign like a bidden, lot numbers, serial numbers, and etc. Plus, in Integration Manager, you have the options to, um, <coughs> to use um, some sort of transformation control, like sor uh, um, script, for example. So if you use script, then uh, you, you, you can provide script in um, VBA, right in this uh, window here. Integration Manager is good for um, integrations w w where you you don't need it in real time and you can do integration one once per day or, or twice per day. Uh, or you, you can even schedule Integration Manager integrations if required. Um, however, if you if you you have uh, advanced needs, uh, you can use um, such tool as um, eConnect. In this uh, small example, we are in initiating uh, the um, uh, sales transaction uh, sales transaction order, as you see here, in um, C sharp. And let me show you the. Um, Here you can you have um, what you have to do you have to uh, you have to pick the libraries of eConnect so eConnect would be um, considered like regular as software development kit or SDK and, and you can program as you see here in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio probably the best uh, tool for um, eConnect <coughs> and then you can have examples. Um, in eConnect as SDK, if you open help file from uh, from eConnect directly, this is um, <coughs> this uh, brings our small presentation to the end. If you have questions, please uh, visit our website albaspectrum.com and then call our. 866-528-0577 number or simply email us help at albaspectrum.com. Thank you for watching.